Uh, hello everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood Aceman Austin 0 here. And today I'll be talking about Payday 2 DLC. A very hot topic for many people, and um, it'll be unscripted, so if I stutter a lot, so be it. I just felt this would be a lot stronger if I did it unscripted. So let's just go to the Payday 2 store page here, and you're confronted with a bunch of DLC. So let, let's just go through the price here. Let's just go through all the DLC that's here. I guess I'll give like a mini review of each one. Gage Ninja Pack, which is the newest DLC pack. It's alright. I mean, it's not worth the price of $5. Soko Character Pack, $5. Yeah, it's worth it. Gongren High, $7. I would not say that is worth it at all, actually. Um, Alesso Heist, $7. I did a review on that. It's not worth the price. It's a $7 advertisement. Overkill Soundtrack, we're not counting. The Butcher's Western Pack, made obsolete by the Gage Ninja Pack, $5. Butcher's BBQ Pack, $5. Not really worth it. Butcher's AK mo Car Mod Pack, it's a bunch of mods for $5. The Overkill Pack, two weapons for $5. Awesome. Dragon Character Pack. Much better now, but when it came out, it was unfinished. Also $5. The Bomb Heist. Not made by Overkill. Why is it $7? Clover Character Pack. $3. Pretty good, actually. I, I like that price. It was originally 5 which is why when I bought it, but it's 3 now. Diamond Heist. $4. Pretty good heist. I like it. <clears throat> Gage Historical Pack. $3. It's pretty good, actually. Hotline Miami. Eh. Gauge Assault Pack. Once again. Eh. Gauge Shotgun Pack. Eh. Big Bank. Very good heist, actually. $4. Gauge Sniper Pack. Probably one of my favorite DLCs added. $3. I would highly recommend it, by the way. I'll be probably doing an individual review of both the game and the DLCs, by the way. Um. Gauge Mod Courier. Very very good DLC especially if you don't want to well this is actually basically necessary now it's kind of a three dollar crutch this is the only way to get weapon mods other than side jobs and the card system so very very good to have gauge weapon pack 2 I can't oh right this introduced the cloaker and the LMGs um, LMGs they don't really work well because you can't aim them at all um, that's pretty much it. Merry Parody Christmas soundtrack, not counting. Gauge Weapon Pack 1. Yeah, they introduced grenades. Grenades. Armored Transport, I don't like it. It's my least favorite. And the official soundtrack, which once again is not counted. That's a pretty beefy list of DLC. But uh, you also, to be fair, you have quite a few free free updates you had the diamond store heist charlie santa death wish election day shadow raid john wick hawks and breakout hawks and character pack and yeah that's the free updates now what's the issue with all this the sheer amount of dlc and the total cost it comes to payday 2 is a twenty dollar game simple as that twenty dollar game if you want to buy four you know sixty so you can send it to your friends you know, great deal, awesome, good to know. Game of the Year edition, fifty dollars takes off about half the DLC. Not even that, just quite a bit of the DLC. But the DLC altogether, if you don't have the Game of the Year edition, a hundred and seven, a hundred dollars and seventy-five cents USD. I could buy five copies of this game, or I could get the DLC. You know what else you could buy for that much money? Fallout 4. You could pre-order Fallout 4. Far Cry 4. Far Cry 3. Fallout New Vegas. Fallout 3. You can buy any game you can think of, or you can buy the DLC for Payday 2. That's ridiculous to say the least but 
that's even worse if you want the completely overkill pack. If you got the completely o overkill pack, I feel very sorry for you. Because you still have not gotten whatever your secret reward was going to be. You still just got your four masks. And you contributed to the hype train. Great, good job. I was also watching this video earlier today, which also kind of inspired this one. I'll put a link to it in the description, I guess. He did the math. On the hype train, this is going to turn into a hype train rant, I guess. On the hype train event, <clears throat> at minimum, the most, the least overkill could have made was $3 million. Most they could have made was $14 million. Do, do, do you see where that's a tad bit ridiculous? When they're putting out this much DLC and they just made three million dollars, well not just, but they made three million dollars off of at least a minimum of three million dollars off of a co event, a community event, and they're still releasing paid DLC. I'm, I have no issue with paid DLC. Like, some of the best examples of paid DLC is Borderlands 2, GTA 4. Borderlands 2 was very interesting. It added a lot of new content, added a lot of new areas. GTA 4 had entire games that were DLC. Yet the Ballad of Gay Tony, which is it should it's pretty much considered a whole game of itself. It's that long. And those are much less than buying all the DLC that Payday has to offer. I'm not going to compare payday to other games that EA I'm not going to compare overkill to EA it's an easy comparison to make but no no yes they don't have the best DLC practices but not a lot of companies do I'm on the I'm on the side of DLC that if it is good DLC like Borderlands 2 I am perfectly fine with it I'm perfectly fine with paying for good DLC. But when you're adding like five weapons and four masks for five dollars, it's a bit ridiculous. Just just a bit ridiculous. But I'm just some dick face on the internet who just wasted what is it, ten minutes now? Nah, eight minutes of my life ranting about payday two DLC. And why don't I just keep going? I mean, I could do an individual review of all of these. Gay Ginger Pack, not worth it. Sokol Character Pack, worth it. Golden Grin, no. Alesso, $7 advertisement, no. Soundtrack, sure, it's 99 cents. <clears throat> Butcher Western, no. BBQ, no. I could just go on and on and on railing on the DLC. And I could go on railing overkill. It... It really is just sad seeing this much DLC in a game that I know is making a money. I know it's making money because they keep putting out DLC. Now, I understand DLC. I'm perfectly fine with it. Extend the life of the game if it's done right. Adding three more achievements and five more weapons is not going to make someone who doesn't who has basically wasted the time on the game that they had, They're putting five new weapons is and isn't going to motivate someone who's already played 10,000 hours of it to go on one day. Just, you know what? There are five more weapons. I need to play this game now. Three achievements aren't going to do that either, unless you're a completionist. But even though three achievements, that's an hour, maybe? That's an hour more you got out of the game. But achievements are free. Achievements are free. That's fine. Whatever. An hour for free stuff. Awesome. But. Anyway. I feel like this video is basically pointless. But. Here, here's a basic wrap up. $100.75 for all the payday DLC. Fallout 4. Fallout New Vegas. Fallout 3. Far Cry 4. Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3. Blood Dragon. GTA 5. Any game you could want. Even five copies of this game, or two copies of the Game of Year Edition. 
It's less than the game's DLC. What I'm saying is I'd much rather put my money somewhere else. Anyway, now that this rant is over, I'll go back to working on my review for the Gage Ninja Pack. If you like this video, be sure to like it. If you disliked it, be sure to dislike it. Be sure to comment whether you <laughs> saying you hate me or you love me or you respect me or something. And if you really enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and watch my other content. This is your friendly neighborhood Ace Man Austin 00 here, signing off.